Andrea, and look who's with me, our buddy, Elliot Moose, and our other buddy, Pierre LeBeau. So, Elliot, before we get started, do you want to say hello? He always likes to say hello. There we go. Say hello to everyone. Oh, he wants to get a really good look in there. Can you see Eris and Oren? Yeah? Can you see Louisa and Laura? Yeah? Can you see Asher and Ayla? Yeah? Can you see Arian? Can you see Stephanie? Can you see, oh, there's some new kids out there. I wonder what their names are. Hmm. Hey, Elliot, that was fun. Good for you. Oh, he says, oh, thanks. He loves saying hi to everybody. Sometimes he's just a little bit shy about asking, aren't you? And now Pierre. Oh. <gasps> You know, if Elliot does something, it's not fair if Pierre doesn't get to do it too. So here we go. Pierre wants to say hi, and he is sniffing. <laughs> what are you sniffing, Pierre? Do you smell your friends out there? Do you smell Sparky and Lou? Yeah, you do? Oh, that's exciting, okay. Well, now we've said our hellos. It's time for story time. Today, we're reading Elliot's Bath. I wonder what happens in Elliot's bath. Obviously he has a bath, right? But gee, why does he need a bath? Let's open up our book. And there is our title page. And look what's under the title. So it's Elliot's Bath, written and illustrated by Andrea Beck, and there's a little rubber ducky. So we know he's really gonna have a bath. But look what's on the other side. Hmm. To my sister Debbie, who first inspired me to make toys. And that is true. It looks like there's a can of paint and a paintbrush that is, the can of paint is spilling. Hmm. Are we ready? Ready for our story? Everyone snuggle in. Here we go. Elliot Moose felt all tingly inside. The big talent show was tonight. He and Socks had been rehearsing all week. Their dance was perfect and their costumes were ready. Now all they had to do is paint the stage. Wow, look how cool. They've made a little cardboard stage there, right? With a, out of a box. Boy, cardboard boxes can be really useful. I'm almost done, called Socks from her ladder. But as she reached over with her brush, she lost her balance and tumbled to the floor. Splat! Elliot gasped. He and Socks were covered in blue paint. Oh, what are we going to do? cried Socks. You need a bath, said Paisley. A bath? Elliot had been damp before, but he'd never had his paws. He'd even had his paws in the pond, but he'd never had a bath. That sounds like fun, he said with a grin. Beaverton came over to survey the damage. Goodness gracious, he exclaimed. What a pickle. Let's wash you before that paint dries. They all ran to the bathroom, and one by one they climbed up to the sink. Angel put in the plug. Paisley turned on the water and Beaverton tossed in the soap. The bath was ready. Elliot dipped his foot in the water. It was perfect, not too hot and not too cold. He and Socks jumped in. Oh, they look like they're having so much fun there. Socks paddled around the sink. Elliot splashed and spluttered. Together they made great big waves. Then they settled down to wash. The warm water soaked right through Elliot's fur and into his stuffing. It felt rather nice. Soon the water was blue with paint and Socks began to change color. As they soaked and scrubbed, she got darker and darker. Socks didn't mind at all. Purple, she cried, my favorite. But then something odd happened. Elliot's arms and legs began to get heavy. Soon even his head felt funny. I think we should get out now, he said. But they couldn't get out. They couldn't even pull the plug. Elliot and Socks were too full of water to move. Oh, oh. Elliot does get himself into some problems sometimes, doesn't he? 
Hmm, said Beaverton. He went to get his fishing rod and rain gear. Then he snagged the plug and tugged it until it came free. He tossed a raincoat to Paisley, then hopped into the sink. I'll push, you pull, he said. Grunting and groaning, Beaverton and Paisley heaved their soggy friends out of the sink. Look, you can see Paisley's paws there pulling on Elliot's arm. And, and what's Beaverton doing? He's shoving with all of his might. Let's get you dry, said Paisley. He rolled Elliot and socks up in towels and gave them each a good squeeze. But when he unrolled his friends, they were still soaking wet. Elliot looked at the puddle forming beneath him and had a terrible thought. Would they be dry in time for the show tonight? A breeze will evaporate that water, said Angel, flapping her wings. But her wings really only made tiny puffs of air. It wasn't nearly enough. Paisley got his airplane and wound up the propeller. But the wind made socks shiver. It's too cold, she cried. Next, Beaverton blasted them with the hair dryer. It made Elliot's ears sting. It's too hot, he yelped. By now, news of the bath had spread through the house. A crowd of friends began to gather. They talked in worried whispers. I'm sorry I splattered you, said Socks quietly. It wasn't your fault, said Elliot, but he was sorry too. There must be a way to get them dry, said Paisley. We can't dry their outsides because their insides are too wet, reasoned Beaverton. We could wring them out, said Angel, like this. And she twisted a wet towel until water dripped out. You can't wring us out like laundry, said Socks indignantly. Laundry? Elliot's ears pricked up. Suddenly he knew just what to do. Get the wagon, he shouted happily. Ready, set, go, yelled Beaverton, and he sent Elliot and Socks swinging out on the clothesline into the hot sun. Elliot, cried Socks, we're flying. And we're drying, yelled Elliot. Swinging on the line was so much fun that Paisley and Angel had a ride too. By the end of the afternoon, Elliot and Socks were dry, and to everyone's delight, Socks had kept her new color. When Beaverton reeled them back in, they all rushed to get ready for the show. Elliot and Socks put on their costumes and practiced one more time. That night, the two dancers twirled joyfully across the stage. As Elliot and Socks took their bows, their friends clapped and cheered, and shouts of bravo rang through the halls of the big house. There we go. I wonder if we should put on a, a talent show in our big house. What do you think, Elliot? Would that be fun? What would your talent be? Hmm? Would you like to dance like Elliot and Socks? What about you, Pierre? What would your talent be? Something with that sniffer of yours, I think. Yeah. So boys and girls, it was really fun to share story time with you again today. We love stories in the big house, don't we? We love stories and we love snuggles. And story time is a great snuggle time. So boys and girls, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care.